Hello and welcome to Porting Tips from CC Specialty Tool. Uh, you can find us online at ccspecialtytool.com. Today we're going to go over the textured uh, finish on an intake. I realize that there's a, a lot of talk on forums and uh, advice columns and different stuff like that about how you should have a textured finish on, a, uh, on an intake, but uh, there's very little actual evidence or images uh, to show you what that should look like. So uh, we're going to do that today. Now this, what you're looking at, is a professionally ported um, intake. Uh, this is on a race 250 head, and you can see the slight texture there to it. That is really all that is necessary. That's the only texturing amount that is uh, required to uh, get the uh, achieve the uh, results that you're looking for. The ideal behind a textured finish is uh, to increase the surface area, which helps dissipation of the uh, fuel as it is coming in from the intake side. Uh, now, I'll go ahead and point this out. I like a finished, a polished finish on the exhaust side because it reduces buildup and things to that nature and it increases overall flow. But on the intake side, you do need a textured finish. So let's, uh, let's show you a few different ways to achieve that. Okay, now looking up here at our uh, practice cylinder head, this is a test head that we test different tools on. We have intentionally put way too much of a polish on this intake. See how nice and glass smooth that is? Yes, yeah, that's not what you want. That uh, the because of surface tension, uh, the fuel will actually stick to that. So let's show a few different ways we can rough that up and give a better finish to it. Okay. One well, of the first ways we'll go, and this is a fairly simple way, that would be with a uh, a sanding roll like this, a cartridge roll. Uh, that I, I use, I like uh, about 80 grit, you can use whatever you prefer, whatever you want to start out with, but uh, what we'll do is we'll take the edge right here and we'll just start working and start to give it a bit of a, of a finish on there. Now keep, keep the sanding drum moving, keep it moving back and forth, don't stop at any one point or you'll start to build up. Work it around the edges, it's just like you were shading back in art school. Uh, just keep working it there. I like to brace myself with my other hand and you can see really quick there Voila right like that we have a similar finish you want it smooth But not mirror smooth you want a slight texture to it if you run your finger across it You want to feel a slight texture to it. So uh, That's one way you can achieve it with the sanding drum like this Another way is with a cross buff and I like these too. I like the cross buffs mainly because they uh, they will kind of conform to whatever uh, you're into whatever um, shape the cylinder head is and we'll just take this on the side here let me unlock this here and flip it around so you can see the side can you see that good there Blake? Uh -huh. All right and we're gonna start to put same process same process moving 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 never hold still Run, 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 run up the side, and it'll just bend and kind of conform to it. Never, never let it stay in one place for a while, because you'll get you'll get cross hatches like that. You'll get the uh, texture to go in just one direction crossways. You don't want that. You want a nice, even, textured finish. And you can see that nicely, I think. Mm -hmm. Put the light on that, and you get a nice textured finish there. Like I said, smooth to the touch. No rough edges, but nice and textured. It's going to increase the surface area and allow more fuel dissipation um, as it's moving across the intake. 